Hey there everybody, Pop on Top here. Welcome back to some more Fallout 4 mods. In today's mod, we got a weapon mod here. It's a shotgun. This is the Benelli M2 Agency. This is the name of the mod here. And it's a shotgun. It's a semi-auto shotgun. This shoots very quickly. Six round capacity by default with a nice custom reload animation there. Unfortunately, I do have bullet counter reload on for Xbox. It does not work with this. So if I shoot once, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, regardless. And in order, that's without even counting if I increase the clip capacity, which I haven't even messed with yet, because I just crafted the weapon. And if you want to craft a weapon for yourselves after you download this mod, it's at the chemistry station at the very bottom here. It's called Weapons. It's Benelli M2 Agency. You need gun nut of at least two. Adhesive, aluminum screws, springs, and steel. With a 40 fire rate, that's pretty high. The 125 damage is pretty good as well. So obviously shoots shotgun shells. It starts out with weird accuracy stats, which is going to make it, I think, perform really poorly in bats. But let's see what we can do customization-wise at the weapon workbench here. So obviously we want to make the receiver more powerful, advanced, the best that you could be. I mean, the, there's no ac I mean, I guess you could do the critical shot damage, but it would be, like, calibrated powerful versus advanced if you really wanted the crit shot damage. Um, you could put all kinds of scopes on here, it seems. So your EOTechs, your there's the EOTechs, your hollow suns, your hollow sights, your ACOGs, your long range scopes, whatever you want to do with it. All kinds of modern sights and things. <laughs> we'll put a hollow sun on there, why not? And not that the sight I think is that important to a shotgun. Um, so you could put a grip on here, that's interesting. Faster sighting, improved recon control, and better accuracy. And they, they all seem to be do that. So it's a, a lot of cosmetic preferences here. I, I, the main thing is, does your character animate properly and hold the grip properly so let's get like a weird kind of long angled one obviously we can get a flashlight laser sight one or the other right so on the right row we'll put a flashlight and then on the left row we'll put a laser sight I guess I mean I don't really know the differences between those laser sights those are like ooh a choke though or a suppressor I want to put a choke on there excuse me we can choke this thing so, obviously we have our hollow sound sight. That was a cool little pull-out animation. I want to see that again. Let's pull that out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a big fan of that. So we have tighter pellet spread now. I mean, it would be very hard to show this off to where in a way you can understand. But it's not, like, extremely... I mean, close range. It's really just one shot. You are kind of, kind of holding the grip. It seems like you're holding the grip anyway, so that's nice too. The laser sight seems to be working and actually increasing your hit fire accuracy. Flashlight, flashlight be working. I mean, that, that is a lot of customization with a shotgun, and we're not even done yet. Um, so we got a stock here. A pistol grip. Only works with angle grip. Stock with a pistol grip, better recoil, less attack point cost, faster sight transition. Faster sight transition, but these have a bit worse recoil, I guess. This is better recoil control without faster aiming inside this is the best one but it only works with an angle grip so let's put an angle grip on there because obviously really i mean don't you want the gun to just be what the best it could be so what is it which one is it vertical angled angled grip these ones um so i guess we'll put the afg on there the angle grip and then we can put on the folded grip with this and then see take a look at that let's take a look at what we got here so it is working oh because you hold you hold it like this Hold it. You have to hold it. Tilted? I don't. Is it? Is that? Is that the strats? Is somebody out there who actually like shoot shotguns like competitively for sport or whatever? <laughs> like, no. This is how you can hold a shotgun. It's supposed to be faster aim down sight transition. Does it? Does it still ADS from this position? Yeah, we, you aim down sight by looking at using a laser. So it's very important to have a laser with this particular mod or attachment, I guess, combination. But it, that is, I mean, who cares, like I said, who cares about the hollow side? Who cares about the ACOG stuff? You obviously could put them on there if you want to do that kind of thing. But that this, this is way better. This is, I mean, it's cool. It's unique anyway. Like I said, I don't know if that's actually how you would hold a shotgun. Um, but if it is, I'm just going to put the standard sights back on because they're literally not doing anything right now. So we can make a long magazine. So 5 plus 1 is short by default, but we can make it 8. I will hopefully we can see if we have the old 8. We currently got gold. It's only that little tiny piece there you can see changing. I'm going to make it black though. I don't even want the gold. We can change the ammunition though. Burning ammo, flechettes, armor piercing, less precision. But it does do more damage and your slugs. So if you if you did want to, there's like definitely combinations of this you can do where you take like, you don't even need the laser sight, right? You put like a long ACOG scope, slugs. You, you pick people off at long range with a suppressed maybe shotgun. You don't even need to choke because obviously you don't care about spread. Um, obviously, I think I'm going to use Dragon's Breath because I just want to set fucking things on fire. 
<laughs> I'm a pyromaniac here. But yeah, this is this is this is sick. Like I mean, we literally have perfect accuracy now. What? And we are setting things on fire. And we, you gotta remember, I'm not even tap. Like I was a little bit towards the end there, but I was. Is it eight? I'm gonna count that. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It is eight. So like getting a bigger magazine is a positive. Or a bigger tube is not a magazine. I should shut up. Some gun nerd out there just had a seizure because. They're like the most nitpicky people in the entire world. <laughs> but it does make it so you have to reload a lot. So it's really important to unload a full mag, which is very easy to do with this. It's not a mag. To unload a full two, unload your entire capacity. My bad, okay? I'm just saying words. But you can also do that very quickly here. And there is quite a bit of recoil, okay? Like this gun shoots pretty quick. So obviously we're going to go test it out in some combat now. There's quite a bit of customization here. I like this, like tilted style even though I think it, that's my thumb right there on the top that's supposed to be there and it looks really weird because my field of view is high and I think it's higher than the game wants it to be I do have my custom third person animation mod um, you can obviously it works in third person it doesn't have the you don't look to be holding it the same way but I have unique third person animations on and stuff so it might that might be a factor here so you can obviously mix and match and do that, whatever you want with that. Let's go set some ghouls on fire in the Super Duper Mart, and I'll see you when we get there. Alright, everybody, we are here at my Zombies Arena arcade mode. Like I said, we're going to go to the Super Duper Mart. We're going to shoot some ghouls with fire shotgun shells with an extremely fast fire rate shotgun. It's going to be a good time. I like this shotgun. I, I mean, I really like shotguns. I have to mention this every time I cover a shotgun, but my name is Pop on Top, and I'm, like, addicted to shotguns. I think they're just fucking... It's a fun gun to use. I mean, especially... And something like this. Obviously, because it's a super duper, we're not really testing out range and stuff here. But I don't think we even need to test out range. I mean, we're not suppressed. It doesn't matter. Who cares? I mean, I don't even need the fast fire rate. I hit a reload, though. See, this, this is me messing up. I'm used to that bullet counter reload system now where you don't have to worry about reloading too much. But I am now reloading too much. You gotta be very careful. I mean, I'm, there's not gonna be more than eight ghouls if we're one shotting all of them. We didn't quite one shot that one. So we should. Try to test the fire right out. Now reload. Any any ghouls left? No, that's a whole wave. Um, we're gonna we're gonna keep going because I'm having a really good time setting some ghouls on fire with my like slightly tilted shotgun here. Maybe that is part of the stock, but I think that's supposed to be my thumb holding the top of the stock there. Like it's a very I think it's like a breaching holding position. I haven't looked it up on the Google or nothing, and I haven't ever shot a shotgun like this, <laughs> like the way where you would you know hold it kind of tilted like that but I'm imagining there's some there's some use case in there for this that is realistic I mean you know wasted a shell there didn't even need the two shot two anyway but it's because it's got a fast rate of fire I want to show it off but I can't even show it off these things are dying. only two left though I mean I suppose we should do some fat shots and stuff so we'll, we'll get to that let me reload it real quick though before we do I'm just having too much fun just spamming it um, vast accuracy is fairly good. Let's see, headshot. Cool. Absolutely annihilated their head. So Vats is working well. We're doing some third person shooting. Let's make sure, you know, keep it working. Reload animation seems to be working at least. This legendary gangrene is fair, but doesn't know what's about to hit him. What did I get for my legendary? A stalker's western revolver. Absolutely. That's a good one. Like, it's just a good gun. Um, yeah, at least decent and legendary effects, too. But yeah, this is the, it's the Benelli. Uh, the Benelli M2 Agency. I've covered a different Benelli shotgun. Um, the M10 something. Or something. But th this is a different one. This is for sure. Ooh, we've got some Radstorm action going on. It's nice, though. I mean, there's the, there's the ring. And then it disappeared. I have some weird weather effects going on. <laughs> like if I look up, it's happening. If I look down, it's not. That's kind of weird. Anyway, the Benelli MT a M2 Agency Shotgun is fun. High rate of fire. Lots of customization. You can customize rounds. You can increase the damage. You can do these cool angle grip, like tilted sideways way. You can... Obviously, it, it really sucks that it doesn't count bullet counted reload because that's like the, the biggest thing when it comes to like these mods like lever actions and pump actions and things where you reload one shell or bullet at a time. You really want to be able to do that like that. Um, but this one is, is still good. It's, it's just fun because 
that's how you should be shooting it anyway. Just, just spam the fuck out of it until you run out and then reload all eight anyway. Um, but yeah, I highly recommend you guys check out this one for yourselves. There'll be a link down in the description at the very top of it, actually. And it will tell you, here, this is where you find the mod on the Xbox, the Bethesda on that page. There you go. You can download it for yourselves there. Here's the mod on the PC Nexus page. There you go. There you can download the mod for yourselves there. If you guys have enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like rating down below. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. You know, is this a cool shotgun to you or not? What do you like about it? What do you don't like about it? I want to hear your opinion. If you guys haven't already and you would like to, make sure you subscribe. That we can check more videos from me. I make follow four mod videos a couple times a week. And the easiest way to check them all out would be to subscribe. So hopefully you do that. And pretty much other than that, you guys have a good rest of your day. Whatever it may be. And I will see you in the next episode.